How often have I used this platform to deal with my many problems and situations? It's a funny thing, isn't it? It almost becomes like, I don't know. Sometimes I need to record it so that I can look at it and figure out where I've gone wrong, what I can change, how I can do better. And right now I'm struggling with dieting, which is extremely important to me because I know that what I eat increases inflammation and I have fallen far from my goals since my trip to Winston-Salem. I was very hungry at Bonnie's. I didn't know what to eat anymore. I didn't, I don't know, my stomach had totally turned from proteins. I just didn't want them. And so I started eating a kashi, uh, what was that, little mini wheats uh, as a meal. And uh, I ate all her shrimp because she said, use up whatever you want from the freezer. So I did. And uh, I started making egg custard, which, you know, I like the fruit with the... Uh, um, with lots of egg and um, then I started adding milk because she had milk she needed to use up. She generally uses um, almond milk or oat milk, but um, she had these little moo containers that you don't need to refrigerate. And So I just started using stuff from her cupboards because Bonnie was moving and didn't have a lot of room. So, you know, I, I, I just fell from grace during that time period. And then I was like, okay, when I get home, I'm going to make up a new food plan, something I can live with. And now that I've made it up and I made a cream soup for myself that has lots of chicken and protein and vegetables and whole nine yards and uh, no dairy, now I don't want it. So um, I'm going to try to eat it. I'm going to try to eat a couple cups of that today. It's very, very good. I mean... I can't say I taste taste it. It's more like a sensation. I have to feel satisfaction. I have to have textures that I can live with. And um, sometimes the texture of meat just turns me off because I can't really taste it. Maybe if I dip it in A1 sauce, if it's steak, I can live with that chicken if I like oven fry it and I do the legs which are a little juicier than like a breast I can manage um I had all those clams but now when I cook them from the freezer like the guy told me to freeze them they're not opening so uh, you're not supposed to eat clams that don't fully open you know there might be like a little teeny crack but most of them were closed and so I threw them out, you know, and that was a lot of money gone to the garbage, and that makes me sad. And just just eating healthy is so outrageously expensive, especially if you're like me and you're like, I don't want to eat this anymore. I'm going to put it in the freezer until I feel like I can eat it. So that's a lot of what I'm going through. So currently I have some whiting, frozen whiting fish in the freezer. I wanted flounder, but of course Walmart didn't have it, so they sent me whatever the substitute was because I still get Walmart deliveries. And the good news is is that I've, uh, you know, paid back the subscription already. I've used a hundred dollars worth of deliveries. And so, you know, yeah. And that was somewhere around my June birthday, which is, you know, really the end of June. So July, I probably started the Walmart thing. So I still have, what, seven, eight months uh, still to have deliveries. And I'll tell you what, it, uh, it matters to me. I do need those deliveries. There's days I just really can't leave the apartment. And uh, though I've been pushing myself so I can help Mike and Maggie because they haven't had help. It's just been the two of them doing shows, and uh, Dennis Jr. went to Colorado uh, for 10 days, and uh, Danny uh, took about a week off, and but he wants to come back uh, hell-bent and do six uh, jewelry shows in a row. And um, so 
I think I'm going to be needed this evening. I'm going to try to escape by nine because I just, I don't feel very well. I've been eating wrong and it's caught up with me, you know, the, the way I eat truly affects the inflammation and how I feel. So I haven't eaten breakfast yet. It's almost 10 o'clock. I've had my coffee and I'm just having eating anxiety. Yes. It's like, okay, I got to make sure whatever I eat is extremely satisfying or I'm going to feel unhappy. So satisfaction comes to me in texture, in, I can't say flavor, in memory. Certain things make me very happy. Pancakes that are really fluffy and, you know, soft. I love that. Uh, fruit syrup that I take my frozen berries and I cook them in a pot and I add honey or I add maple syrup to it and those go on my pancakes. Hey, you know what, that sounds really good. You know what I else I have in the fridge? I have heavy whipping cream. I was gonna make some hollandaise because I want hollandaise on my whiting fish. So I have to come up with a um, recipe for that. I guess it's all egg yolk and cream and lemon, which I think would be really awesome on fish. I won't be able to really detect it except the lemon and the creaminess and that'll make me happy with the pieces of fish so you know keeping me happy is kind of important at this point uh, so I can stick to what I'm doing I need to stick to what I'm doing and I don't know what I'm doing I, I no longer have a plan I had a plan I didn't execute it this week I've been just kind of like eating off the cuff I've been with my kids and we've eaten out once and so you know it was a Mexican restaurant and uh, I didn't eat a lot but um, I ate a lot of corn chips they're so hot and crispy I just like that in the salsa the salsa wasn't right on this time to me all I could taste is salt and I don't like that I want the tanginess and the spiciness and um, there's that big turtle there's a turtle living in the backyard, and I'm looking out the window, and I was like, what's that moving around? It's, oh boy, are they slow. But I think he'd still be faster than me on a good day. So, um, yeah, so I'm just talking about this because talking it out and thinking about it will help me to steer myself back to where I need to be. And I know a lot of you struggle with weight problems and with dieting and with eating right and with pain and with inflammation and with chronic illness. My biggest issue is my fibromyalgia and my hip. Those two together are a misery. And I don't want surgery. I'm desperately trying to fight that. Though a lot of women on Facebook, when I've, you know, commented in different groups I'm in, have said they did extremely well with replacement surgery for their hip. But my problem is my lumbar needs to be replaced. That sounds so weird. Well... I do have that uh, surgeon's appointment in December, and I need to make other surgeon's appointments because I'd like to talk to four or five of them before I make a choice if I should decide that I can't get this done. But just like Dr. McDougall says, get yourself in shape before the surgery. Get that weight off because when they open you up, your fat just comes pouring out and then the surgeon has to deal with getting through that fat to the area that needs to be replaced. So I want to get as lean as I possibly can in that area. And oh, I've got a big bottom, guys. And um, I've always been more of a pear shape, you know. And um, but boy, at this point... I feel like an upside-down mushroom, yeah. So, um, 
I really, I need, I'm not going through surgery till I get this weight situation in line. And so I got to bring myself back to the, why are you wanting to lose the weight? Why are you wanting to change your eating? Because it is tantamount to what I may have to go through in the future and to build up the muscle and to strengthen everything. And I haven't been doing my exercises, and you know, kind of like a, a weak rendition of it. But no, I need to get serious. I need to start making it the priority of my day. I've got to. There is no, well, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. No, I have to do it now, today, as soon as I get off of this thing, but I want breakfast first. The good thing I've been reading about is, um, because my tummy is so empty and I'm like, I'm starving. I woke up at two o'clock and I was starving. I had to go pee, you know, and that happens almost every night. I hate that. I'm still chilly. I turned the AC off and I'm still chilly. Go turtle, go. <clears throat> kind of say that to myself sometimes on certain days. Um, what was I saying? Okay, so, right. So I was reading about, you know, how in our, at our age, after 60, uh, can you lose weight? And uh, one of the things I read about was our metabolism is very slow. It's slowed down. And so we want to perk that up. There's two ways to do that. When you eat you burn about, what did they say, 25, 30% more. And if you exercise within 30 minutes before or after eating, that boosts you to a 75% metabolism burn. That's a good thing to remember. Now, one of the things they suggest is eat six small meals a day. And I've heard this before, and I'm just so scared of sparking my uh, compulsive eating. I, I don't want to spark that up. I, I generally like to just eat two meals a day, but I was doing that. And it, my system shut down, and it had been over a month, and I couldn't lose even a half a pound. And that's when I did carnivore, and it sparked everything up again. So what I might have to do is like, you know, two days a month of carnivore, like it or not, and then... um and then start doing the six small meals every three hours, eat something till about six at night and then stop. And that kind of would give you, give you an intermittent fasting type of, uh, you know, thing going. And, um, you know, six to whatever. I usually don't start eating till 11 is when I generally start eating. So I'm going to... And I wouldn't mind eating every two or three hours. I, I like to eat. I just like to chew. You know, it's kind of something to do. I know. I know. It's crazy. I'm crazy. But, you know, sometimes I just want to cut up an apple and chomp. Sometimes I want to open a couple of tangerines and slurp. I mean, I just like to chew. If I chew healthy things, it might be okay. It might spark my metabolism because, you know, an apple is really dense and it takes some energy to digest that. And that's a good thing, right? So, um, yeah. So this morning, I think I'm really craving my Kodiak pancakes and I do have cottage cheese, which I feel like, excuse me, my throat's going dry. I feel like dairy doesn't agree with my inflammation, but I, I don't want to waste my um, cottage cheese. It's good till November. I'm going to uh, add that to my Kodiak and some water and some vanilla, which is really silly, but I do it anyway. Some cinnamon and um, whir that up in the blender and make myself some pancakes. You know, lots of eggs in it, probably three eggs. And, uh, just make a really high protein pancake and then I'm going to take my frozen berries. I've got, at this point, I have strawberries, blackberries, raspberries, and blueberries. And I'm going to put them in a pot and I'm going to heat them up so they defrost. And then I'm going to throw mm, probably 
two tablespoons of maple syrup, which is 100, 120 calories. And uh, now there's a crow hanging out with the turtle. They don't seem to be interested in each other. The turtle's heading over to the crow. The crow's like pecking the ground. Nature. It's so weird. So anyway, um, yeah, um, that's what I guess I'm going to do. Now, another thing I need to do today, <laughs> I really need to do it, is I've got stuff everywhere. There is barely any room to walk on the floor. I'm trying to get ready for my show in November, which is coming up really, really fast, you guys. And I need to um, get all of my jewelry marked. I need to know what I want for prices. Let me give you an example. Here we have a little Laramar cuff. This is American Indian with the uh, markings inside. And it's sterling silver. And no, I'm not going to clean it. They're going to have to do it for themselves. And I don't know why the clasp is like this, but it is. And it's like really weird. Why would anybody do a U? What does that look like on? I don't know. This thing's small. Ow! Yeah, see? I mean, that thing really... Ow. Ow. I'm trying here, guys. I'm trying. How on earth would anyone... I did it! Ta-da! $18. Pretty, right? My wrist is a little too fat. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, um, there's a piece, and then I got this. Now, my really, really nice American Indian, the really fine, hard-to-find stuff, I'm holding on to it. Prices on that just keep going up, and someday, as it's all bought out, um, it's going to be worth money, a lot of money. So I'm going to keep that in part of my retirement plan. And um, retirement. Hmm. So... Uh, yeah, so Michael took me out to lunch yesterday. He had to go up to the dentist, and it was in a far-off town. And I said, let me go with you in case they decide to pull all your wisdom teeth out. Well, come to find it wasn't his wisdom tooth at all. It was the tooth next to it, and he thought it was the wisdom tooth. And so it's a bad one, and he has to have it extracted or root canaled. And so uh, he has to make that decision, and... Uh, it's a lot of money to root canal, but I think he's probably going to choose. Oh, I hate root canals. Oh, God. But um, I said, just pick the right dentist, the wrong dentist. And if it's not done right, you want it done right. He said that she gave him a recommendation in his area for a good dentist, uh, oral surgeon, whatever. And, um, yeah, so while we were in that remote city, I like that little city so much. Someday I'll tell you about it. Um he said, uh, do, you, do you want to go out to lunch? And I said, yeah, but he really wanted to get home. I said, you want to go somewhere to go, don't you? And he said, yeah. And I said, I've got Wendy's coupons. And he said, forget the coupons. Let me just treat you. And so we went through the drive through and they gave me really crappy fries. Now, see, this is part of my problem. I wanted a burger and fries desperately. And I said, I'm just going to do it. Burger, fries, and a Coke, I'm doing it. So I got a Wendy's single with no cheese because I don't like cheese on my burgers ever. And... um. And they gave him the hot fries. They made us wait, you know, pull over there. And they gave him the hot fries. It gave me the cold, mushy, like really nasty fries. And so I went in there, dun, 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 dun. And I hold up the fries and I say, this is unacceptable. I give them to him. They go everywhere. And, um, and he's trying to wipe the grease off his hands. And so they give me a hot, hot one. They just had pulled one out of the fry later and oh man do I love them when they're like that and so so then I took my fries and I marched back to the car dum 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 I feel there's really no good excuse to give one person fresh fries and the other person the really old ones throw them away okay we're paying astronomical amounts of money well Michael is for a lousy burger meal what is it 11 bucks now Mm. And you dare give us a product that should have been thrown away like 20 minutes ago? <sighs> I am going online later, and I'm going to make a review, and it ain't going to be pretty. That's how I get my anger out. I make reviews. I'm very popular on Google. 
So, um, and TripAdvisor. So, um, yeah, uh, so I ate that and I said, okay, so I'm going to count up my calories now. Let's say that that was about a thousand calories, probably not, uh, probably more like 800 because I don't, you know, I make them really fill my drink cup and I get a medium, medium everything. I make them fill my drink up, cup up good with ice and that way I'm not drinking a lot of Coke. So that's one of my strategies. And then it gets to the point when it's like this much left at the bottom that's all watery and I don't want it. So I, you know, I'm drinking less. And um, I ate every last fry. Oh man, they were good. They were good. Um, just crispy and hot and they didn't have that I'm old grease taste. It was really good. And uh, so I had that and I'd had a small piece of my breakfast custard, which was only about 250 calories. And then I counted my, you know, syrup in my coffee. And um, so I was still at a good level. And then I don't know what happened. We were craving all of us sweets. Mike asked Maggie to cook something. She was exhausted. And I said, here's a bakery open till nine. And so they went to the bakery and they got an eclair for me and a cream puff. And then she got a cinnamon roll and some other cream puff for, for Michael. And uh, they said, we cut up your eclair and ate some. I said, I don't care. I said, I only want a weeny, weeny bit. So I took a weeny, weeny bit of the eclair and I, I relished that. Oh, the Bavarian cream was to die for. It just was so perfect in texture and thickness and just delightfulness, you know? And and I could kind of detect the chocolate on top that they, you know, you, you can tell what chocolate feels like in your, on your tongue, in your mouth. I know I can. I may not be able to taste it, but I know that's chocolate. And um, I, it was a beautiful eclair. And then I took the other end off of it and ate that. And then um, I, I attacked the cream puff. And so it was a very small cream puff. It had two little shells and then the white cream inside. So it was more yellowish. It, it was a nice cream, though I, I couldn't taste the thing. It was like eating me absolutely nothing. So what I did is I took the top off. I cut a little bit of cream and stuck it on the top. And I ate that. And I'm like, this is stupid. I don't want any more of it. So now... My 1,250 calories must have gone up to, you know, I'll say, you know, maybe there was 300 calories there. So now I'm somewhere around 1,600 calories for the day. And then when I came home, I ate two tangerines and an apple, which I never count. I never count raw fruit or raw vegetables. That is going to boost my metabolism and it's going to burn quickly. So that's what I've learned anyway. And, um, yeah. I won't even count stuff like uh, unsweetened applesauce, um, canned peaches, as long as they're in their own juice, for instance. I never drink the juice. I just take them out, give them a shake, put them in a bowl and eat them. So I don't count things like that. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. I guess what I'm going to do is have my protein pancakes with my fruit, and that'll make me happy. And uh, maybe I'll take some of that whipped cream and I'll just lightly, because I don't have a beater. I have a blender, but then all the cream will be stuck in the bottom of the blender and on the blade. And I don't want to miss any of it, okay? So I'm going to just kind of take a fork and kind of like whip it up and not sweeten it. And then maybe like pour a little of that on top of my pancakes if I should so feel like it. Maybe I won't, you know. Maybe I'll just do the fruit and the pancakes and um, call it a day. And uh, lunch, I'm going to do my cream soup because it's in there and I might as well. And I think then what I'm going to do is I'm going to freeze half of what's there so that I'm not um, wasting any. I don't want to waste anything. I have a tendency to waste. Like I, I had a chicken leg in there that I had like half eaten and threw it in there. I'll eat it later and I never ate it later. Same thing with the lamb chop. And then everything went in the garbage. Yeah. If I get sick of it, man, I ain't eating it, okay? But like I say, you know, uh, things have been good uh, around here. My son, my sons and Maggie are doing exceptionally well, so well that I'm stunned, really. It's stunning. Their, <laughs> their progress is stunning. You know, at a time when 
a lot of people are working two and three jobs to just pay the bills. My kids have just whew, taken off, man. As a matter of fact, uh, they're ready to buy the house. And yesterday, while we were driving to the dentist, I said, hey, let's apply to something online. I know that this particular one has, you know, I've talked to them before. I, I like the sounds of them. Let, let's, let's have you apply for a, a mortgage. And it looks really good. It looks really, really good. Not even using this year's business, the new business. They're going to go with his Uber and uh, what he has for down payment, which is good down payment. So they're, you know, they're like, you know, the price of the house, the amount of the, your, your credit score has gone back up. It's good. I'm so happy for them. He's going to be able to buy that house. It looks like on his own without his brother's co-signing, but I don't know if his, if Dennis Jr. wants to go, we'll find out, you know, but Michael's promised to do an interview with me in January because right now it's too busy. A uh, holiday season coming up. They're going to have a big Black Friday sale with big giveaways. So you might want to check them out on whatnot. Simply Sterling USA. Even if you buy nothing, they're going to have some big, big giveaways. And if you're signed up for whatnot uh, to buy, you can just go into all these various sellers' giveaways and reap the benefits. Well, why not? You might win something fantastic. I think um, he's going to be giving an iPad away for one of the gifts. And um, there'll be lots of jewelry giveaways, good pieces, you know, not just little earrings and stuff like that. Because it's a big Black Friday sale and uh, so proud of them. I mean, it's amazing how the science of getting rich works. It works. Look, I'm more surprised than anybody. He worked it exactly as written, and it has been miraculous, honestly. Well, that's my story, and I'm sticking to it, and I'm really looking forward to pancakes. Yay! Because cottage cheese will make them fluffy, not like yogurt makes them fluffy. <gasps> Greek yogurt will make your pancake mix so fluffy. Try it sometimes. Okay. Now that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Bye.